Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. So, as you may see, there are a few changes to my game. And, I mean, I'm not entirely set on them, but I wanted to share them. Uh, and we can always take them out if, you know, it feels... Well, if people don't like them, I guess. But basically I've added a few kind of quality of life uh, mods. One of them is just a uh, sodium, which is like a, a rendering engine that should just increase the performance of the game and the you know, lighting and things are slightly nicer as you may see. I mean, it's very slight difference, so I don't think there's a problem with that. Top left of my screen, you can see a mini map. So yeah, I mean, it's, I guess it's, you could argue it gives you an advantage, but I think it's kind of nice to have. Um, and well, mainly for the coordinates there and the, I've also got a full map that will only show where I've been. So, you know, it'd be kind of cool as we explore that this map will grow and we can see what's out there. We can only see as far as, as we've gone or, you know, close to where we've been before. Um, but with this as well, we can make markers. Um, so as you can see, I've placed a marker here for home, meaning we can find a way back again. I mean, it's a, I guess it's cheating slightly, but I think it's just kind of nice to have. I mean, you're never going to get fully lost, are you? So it's just going to waste time if I'm, if I'm running around for hours and then trying to find my way back to places when I could just use a marker. Um, and then the main things I have a thing in my inventory now where I can look at recipes for things because as you know, yeah, I'm, I don't know how to build a lot of stuff. So that helps, um, for example, enchantment table, I can click it and I can see what the recipe is and yeah, I want to get a book. I need this. I want to get paper. I need this sort of thing. So yeah, a nice one to have. Um, another one, if you see the top center of my screen, it's like a kind of examiner thing where it'll tell me what I'm looking at. It's kind of nice again for these sort of new blocks and new things I, that I don't even know what they are. That's just going to help me out in, you know, actually being able to see what things are, um, which, you know, players with a bit more experience would know anyway. And, uh, there's a couple more. So my hunger bar, there's some enhancements to that. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all of them right now, but one of them shows me how much things heal me by. And when I have it on my hand, it'll show me how much it'll heal me by if I had less hunger, which is kind of nice. Um, item durability. So if I hover over things, I get some stats and I get the durability. I actually get the durability twice, which is because I have two mods doing the same thing. So I'll fix that for next video actually. But yeah, again, just a, a nice to have thing. Um, and I think the last one, which is probably going to be the most controversial is a tree cutting thing. Um, I've spoken about this before in my other videos, but I've kind of made my mind up that and how I set this up, I don't think it's really cheating. I mean, it's time saving, but let me show you what I mean. So I've got seven durability of this. I'm not sure if it'll work fully. Let me just, well, let me just use this properly. So obviously normally when you cut down trees, you see a durability is going down by one. So five, four, three, two, one, and it's gone. So that's, and yes, the leaves uh, should decay slightly quicker as well. But now if I crouch and chop down a tree, uh, so if I run over here, you'll see my axe is at 250. And if I crouch and chop, it's slower, but it chopped down the entire tree. But it's actually taken the durability of the amount of logs. So it's still, you know, damaging the tool, the amount it would if you chop the whole tree down, you know, one by one, but it's just time saver as well as it is. Yeah, I've just seen now. It's, uh, 
so yeah, you'll see it, it kind of decays the leaves quicker so they're not just sort of floating around for ages. And it will also auto plant a sapling where you uh, chop the tree down if you don't knock it like I keep doing. Um, so yeah, you see it's obviously a lot slower to chop down that single tree. But the whole thing comes down. Um, so yeah, that's probably the most controversial mod. Um, but again, I, I mean, I'm not really getting an advantage, am I there? It's just... It's just time saving and kind of keeping the world tidy, not having, you know, the odd piece of log flowing in the air with leaves around it. Um, and, well, yeah, you know, chopping trees is just chopping trees, isn't it? I mean, I guess you could say that about anything, but to me, it feels okay. Yeah, especially that it, it damages the tool the correct amount, so it's not... Uh, you know, it's not just using one durability and taking on a huge tree. Um, but yeah, I mean, if uh, if for whatever reason, you know, people dislike it and they want me to cut down each log individually, <laughs> I will happily do so. I just thought, you know, for the purposes of making videos or this sort of thing, it just feels... Like a saving everyone time, you know, my time and the viewers. If you're not having to watch me chop down individual logs, um, but yeah, I think that was everything. Uh, uh, and then there was a mod um, for that gives me some details around enchantments. But obviously, without an enchantment table, etc., I can't show you that at the moment. But I think it just kind of helps describe what the enchantments do. Because again, I'm rusty on that sort of thing, so. That should be helpful. But yeah, obviously, you know, let me know if you think any of these or all of them are, you know, uh, if you just don't like them and we can go from there and see if uh, if we get rid of them or whatnot. But I just think, I mean, I, I try to not, obviously there's a, a huge library of, you know, thousands and thousands of mods, some that do all sorts of, none of these, you know, uh, none of these change the vanilla game in, you know, Obviously, that tree thing and the minimap stuff isn't in vanilla, but you know what I mean. I, I'm not having like a AK 47s or something modded in where I can shoot down tunnels and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully it's all good. So, yeah, I mean, this has just become an update video now, so I think we should go and get started with, well, I think enchantments. It feels like before I do any more massive mining or anything else, I should probably spend the time to actually get some decent tools. Oh, that's quite nice. Like it shows me my chest contents. Cool. That is nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, I need to get paper. Which is sugar canes, isn't it? So let's tidy some of this stuff up. And yeah, so we need sugar cane to begin with, and sugar cane. I think I had some too. Great. Do you do it on sand? And is the sand next to water? I really can't remember. I feel like it has to be touching water, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it's the sort of similar setup to this, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Uh, where should we grow this then? Where would be a nice place to set this up? I mean, maybe if I wall off more of this area, I could have more of my farms on this sort of flat land. That might be an idea. 
Let's grab some more cobblestone wall and probably going to need to make another axe, aren't I? But I guess I'll clear down some of these trees while I'm here and get rid of the saplings. Try I leave them there? Hmm. Oh, I can't decide. Let me grab some dirt as well, just so I can level anything out I need to. We are going to need to go and get more sugar cane. Oh, it'll be very, very slow, won't it? Thinking. Just kind of walling this off for now. Whack. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It's getting dark again, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, sorry about my uh, talking volume as well. I, I'm in a whisper mode with the child asleep quite close to me. Uh, let's sleep so we're not in the dark. Is my... oops. I press escape. I was just going to check my brightness. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the screen looks a bit different. I believe that's the uh, sodium mod. But it just makes everything run a bit better. Which... Is always nice. I'll be gonna run out of wall, aren't I? Do this, I can extend it out a little bit. I was trying to find uh, one of those mods that automatically switch your uh, tools out, but I couldn't find any that were compatible with this version of Minecraft. Again, I think it's not really an unfair advantage, it's just a you know, quality of life. You know, the way, yeah, I think I've explained it before where you. Uh, like I, it, all you, it sort of picks the best tool for the job from your hotbar as you do things. So if I'm like click the wall now, it switch to my pickaxe automatically. Um, which again, I guess it just it doesn't really feel like cheating. It just feels nice. Um, we need some more dirt, didn't we? Yes. So walls, if I can remember walls. Yes. I think if I expand this out more. sure if, uh, if there's any different gates I should be using. 
gate here instead of the uh, wooden gate if it's like a better alternative or something. Is there really? May as well. Whilst we're here. Definitely need to get rid of the ones touching or it looks ugly, isn't it? <laughs> down. Need to make another axe. I should probably have some of my sugarcane growing whilst I'm doing this. Let's not make a diamond one for now. Assuming that should be enough. Are the trees we have left? I can't remember if I, when I planted all these trees, thinking about that. I think that was literally as I stopped the last video, I went up here and planted a bunch of trees for no real reason. I think that was the only thing I did since, uh, between the previous video. That and obviously the, these mods. Uh, 
Okay, that's a nice, nice area to work with now. Just checking my recording still going. Yep. So we do, we will need a water supply. Let's just set up a supply here. So yeah, you can see my health thing now that if I, when I hover over the food, it shows me how much it's going to heal, which is nice. Now I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Water, that's it. So, sugar cane. So I'm gonna need sand, water sand, I guess. Which does mean I'm basically digging all this out on it. I'll just do set up one row. Plant the two I have and then go and try and find some more. I think, is it sand? Why, or am I going mental? Is that right? I literally can't remember whatsoever. I'm going to say it's right. I mean, that's where we found it, wasn't it? On sand by water, so. So let's... How oh, is it already night again? I wasn't in the bed about three seconds ago. Let's get... Let's uh, sleep and then go and find some sugar cane, yeah. I should probably make some charcoal with some of the wood. I'm saying that both are going to be there anyway. Um, do we have any more of those? We don't. So let's bring those instead. And oh, oh, is that because I'm inside? Okay. So the desert that direction. And yeah, yeah, you can see it has the uh, biome name in the top. That's quite cool. Oh. That's cool. Teleport here. Let's not do that. Is that an option I can disable? Don't really want that being an option. Off. 
Okay, that's better. All right. Um, so, I mean, this is probably the easiest place to look for. Well, oh, I don't know. Will it be? What is that? A big village. That's a weird place I was getting attacked by the uh, people with crossbows. Where do we go then? I mean, I think we head that direction. The easiest way to get in there is it go through my strange tunnel, maybe. I like how you can see the tunnel, like when you're under underground. It's cool. Like a parkour expert, or not? In the maybe two or three videos ago, when I did a long, a, a no commentary video, I jumped out my skin when I was uh, swimming across one of those sort of rivers or whatever they are and yeah swimming across and then I was like oh I wonder like swimming underwater but used to be really really weird but apparently that's all changed so I was trying that second I got underwater two scary looking water zombie things started chasing after me and literally they jumped off my chair Oh, that's a cool tree. Can I cut that down with my thingy? Let's see what happens. I guess it's going to destroy my axe. Oh yeah, look how slow, slow this is. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's a little more, a little more powerful than I thought when it did destroy my axe. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm on the edge about that mod, to be fair. I mean, I'll let you guys be the judge. I wonder. Oh, it's just wheat. Is it? Oh, some potatoes or something like that. Could do with stealing some of this stuff. Carrots and things. Let's take that. What's that? Composter. Oh. This is quite a big village, isn't it? Is this guy gonna get angry? Aww. Did you just pick that up? You did. Aww. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing your stuff. Com I wonder what the composter does there. And I can't. Oh, he's planted them. Aww. Can I just rob them again? I talk to him. Oh, traits wheat for emeralds. Ah, okay. So I could come here with my wheat and get emeralds, but I can't remember what emeralds are used for either. God, I'm useless. Um. So do do these have chests in anymore? And he does carrots and things. 
and give him his, him his own carrots back. <laughs> That'd be funny. How many do I have? I have 22. Is that how many do you need? <laughs> oh god, that's funny. His own. Gave him his own stuff back and he gave me an emerald. Oh, hello. Oh. He wasn't happy with that. Do, do, do. Just gonna steal all your stuff. What's that? Interesting. Which ones have we looked at? We started over there, didn't we? Wow, this is a massive village. Do the small ones not have chests in then, I guess? What is that? Oh, I've not got an axe now, do I? I feel like they might be useful. Just a casual lava pit right by their house. Grindstone. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Diamond armor for a horse. Does he do anything? He will. Okay, he takes emeralds for stuff. Right, okay. Anything in here? Nope. Ooh. Well, this is definitely worth the visit then. You're probably... I name this village one. We can keep track of the ones we go to. Oops. Well, these do have some nice stuff in. Leather pants, leather tunic. Where's your gear at? <laughs> a cat. Not sure how you get cats. How you tame them. I guess that leather tunic's not very useful. Smooth stone, water cauldron. Trade alarm. Oh, cool. What's all this stuff? What's all? I don't know what any of those are. I feel like I, could, I feel like I should probably pick some of those things up, but I wouldn't know which one to take. Last furnace. Is that everywhere I looked at? I think so. Oh, you need fish, don't you, for cats? Like, I think I'm pretty sure. What were we actually doing? We were supposed to be looking for sugar cane, weren't we? This is the... Let's look along this water. It's probably... Well, if it needs to be sand, which I'm not entirely sure about, there's not that much sand around here.
Not much luck. It's getting dark. Again. See some sugar cane. Okay? A zombie over there. Oh, there's wolves, wolves or dogs or whatever they are. Question is, can I tame one? <coughs> can I tame it? What do you do to tame it? Is it bones again? Can I? Give him some food. You like, uh. Oh, it's probably bones, isn't it? That's a nine. Should have brought some bones out with me. Wonder if I can kill some skeletons, maybe. Oh, is that bone? What's the chance of that? Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see if he takes one bone. Look. Oh. <laughs> one bone. I mean, I have no idea if that's supposed to happen or not. Well, I guess he's mine now. to give them a name. Isn't there a way of giving them names, like actual names? Do you need to... Wasn't there an item? A name tag or a collar or something? My wolf killer pig. That's cool. Oh, sugar. I nearly fell down there. I mean, there's not many monsters around here. Don't get blown up. Ooh. Oh, God. That was not clever. Alright, I think we need to head back before I have my dog killed. That must be the one the wolf got. Alright, let's head back. It's probably the right plan, isn't it? How much? Got a few sugar cane. Ten. More than a few. Oh god, those weird things! Doggy, hurry up. Come on, why is he the slowest swimmer ever? He just teleported. Okay, should we get this guy or not? Let's go back. So it's nice to collect some food on the way.
Oh no. There's a lot of stuff spawning around here. They're gonna get me. Ooh. Ouch. Oh god. Why is there no sugar cane around here? Yeah, that lighting's different now, isn't it, with my, with this sodium mod thing. I feel like it is anyway. Feels like it's natural, like a more obvious glow. I do love the rain. Is this... Yeah, is this somewhere of mine? I don't know. I feel like... Is that the entrance to my... To the tunnel? It just doesn't... <laughs> I just don't have a good way of getting to it. That snuck up on me. Oh, God. What do I do here? I like how the dog shakes itself off. That's cool. We are back. Okay. Cool. Hopefully the dog follows me. Oh, okay, they just like teleport towards you. Right, let's get you inside. This is your new home. You can sit there. So, I mean, I got some cool things in there. I feel like I should grow all these things. Sugar cane is what I need. And, So that's going to be really cool when I get a horse. Paper is also going to be... Well, that's what I'm going to make, isn't it, with the... Uh, to make the box. Um, do, 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 what we're we doing here. Just opening every single chest by the looks of things. Charcoal, that's what we wanted. Oh, I can see it in the uh, that tooltip thing at the top of my screen, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, so we need more sand. Ah, shouldn't be in that. Yeah, I did have actually I just remembered one of the other mods is something to do with uh, inventory help. I'm not sure if there's a way I can sort my inventory with a some sort of button. I'll look at that later. That would be nice as well if I can just, you know, click and it sorts my inventory arcs. 
I do like having everything sorted neatly. Um, right, let's go and stop talking. Let's get this farm going. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Um, I hope that's right. Do I need to be near it for it to grow? I'm never quite sure. I mean, yeah, these flowers are kind of a slightly odd, aren't they? I kind of feel like placing them more kind of strategically might be better. You can have a look around if you want to. You need a name. We need a name for the dog I'm talking about, but I feel like I need to wait for someone to give me a suggestion. But right now, no one's no one's watching the video, so <laughs> it might take a while for you to have a name. Um, if you find this video, comment and uh, maybe we can get a nice, give him a nice name, him or her. Are you? Am I able to place some? Oh, they? No. I think that's kind of nicer. Just a little display, <laughs> and maybe, yeah, maybe have some dotted about here as well. Yeah, that's my gardening skills put to work. Um, so we can bone meal them if we need to, can't we? I do remember that. <laughs> right, so books. Oh, we do need obsidian, don't we? Actually, that might be. Oh, I knew I should have got it the other day when I was down there. How many did we need? Four. Four obsidian. Two diamonds and a book. Three paper and leather. So I will need a lot of leather as well. Which I do have some of missed quite a bit of. So we probably want to go and yeah, let's go and do that. What is that? There's weird icons there. Who knows? Um, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, okay. I think... How long have we been going? 50 minutes now. Okay, I think I'm going to call this video it, and next time we will go and get some obsidian and see if we can get the enchantment table going and uh, some bookshelves. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!